Welcome, gentlemen, to the ultimate guide on how to ascend to the heights of her admiration for you, where you're not just a mere mortal, but a deity on a pedestal, worshipped for your awesomeness. Today, we're diving headfirst into the tantalizing world of winning her heart by becoming the undisputed champion of her affections. So grab a seat, buckle up and prepare to embark on a journey filled with passion, humour and brutal honesty as we unveil the secrets to getting her to put you on a pedestal. From being a rock star in your own life to mastering the art of listening like a seasoned detective, we'll leave no stone unturned in our quest to elevate your status from mere mortal to legendary lover. So, if you're ready to unleash your inner charisma, charm and undeniable magnetism, then let's dive into the wild and wonderful world of winning her admiration like a boss. Number one, be a rock star in your own life. So, let's dive deeper into being a rock star in your own life. Picture this, you're not just cruising through life aimlessly, you're grabbing it by the horns and showing it who's boss. It's all about finding your groove and owning it, whether you're slaying it at work, dominating on the soccer field, or even just being the reigning champion of your local trivia night. Now, let's break it down. Being a rock star isn't about having millions of fans screaming your name, although that would be pretty cool. It's about being passionate and confident in what you do. So whether you're a graphic designer, a carpenter, or a budding stand-up comedian, pour your heart and soul into it. When you're passionate about your craft, it shines through like a beacon in the night sky. But hold up. It's not just about being good at something, it's about continually striving to be better. Take Steve Jobs, for example. The dude didn't just create the iPhone and call it a day. Nah, he kept pushing the boundaries, always striving for innovation and perfection. So, whatever you're into, whether it's coding, painting, or perfecting the art of making the perfect cup of coffee, keep honing your skills and pushing yourself to new heights. And here's the kicker. When you're out there crushing it in your own life, it's like a magnet that draws people in, including that special someone you're trying to impress. They'll see your passion, your drive, and your zest for life. And before you know it, they'll be looking at you like you're the coolest cat in town. So go ahead, be a rock star in your own life and watch as others start lining up to join your fan club. Number two, listen up, Sherlock. Let's plunge into the importance of listening up and showing genuine interest. Picture this, you're having a conversation with someone, and instead of just nodding along like a bobblehead, you're actually tuned in, soaking up every word like a sponge. That's the kind of listening we're talking about here. Now, why does it matter? Well, think about it. When you're genuinely interested in what someone has to say, it's like giving them a big old bear hug of validation. It shows that you value their thoughts and opinions, and that's a pretty darn good feeling. But hold your horses, because there's more to it than just pretending to listen while mentally planning your grocery list. It's about actively engaging in the conversation, asking questions and showing empathy. For example, let's say your partner comes home from work and starts venting about their day. Instead of zoning out or offering up a half-hearted, that sucks, try asking probing questions like, wow, that sounds rough, how did you handle it? Or is there anything I can do to help? It shows that you're not just a passive bystander, but an active participant in their life. And here's the kicker. When you show genuine interest in someone, they're more likely to reciprocate. It's like a boomerang of good vibes you put it out there, and it comes right back to you. So next time you find yourself in a conversation, put down your phone, make eye contact, and really listen. Who knows, you might just learn something new or strengthen your bond with that special someone. So listen up, Sherlock, because the world is full of fascinating stories just waiting to be heard. If you're eager for more tips, tricks and insights on mastering the art of relationships, hit that subscribe button below. Don't miss out on future episodes where we uncover even more secrets to winning her heart and becoming the ultimate partner. Subscribe now and join our community of love and soulful synergy. Number three, respect is sexy. All right, let's get real about respect. It's not just a word you throw around like confetti at a party. It's the backbone of any healthy relationship. Whether it's with your significant other, your boss, or the barista who makes your morning coffee. So strap in, because we're about to dive into the nitty gritty of why respect is so darn important. First things first, respect isn't just about saying please and thank you, although those are definitely a good start. 
It's about treating people like the human beings they are, with kindness, empathy and a healthy dose of common decency. Think about it this way, would you want someone talking down to you or belittling your ideas? Heck no, so why do it to someone else? But here's the kicker, respect isn't a one-way street, it's a two-way highway with plenty of room for give and take. So if you want her to treat you like royalty, you've got to do the same in return. It's like that golden rule your grandma used to preach, treat others how you want to be treated. So next time you're tempted to roll your eyes or interrupt her mid-sentence, take a step back and ask yourself, WWGD, what would grandma do? And let's not forget about boundaries, folks. Respect isn't just about being all rainbows and sunshine. It's also about knowing when to back off and give someone space. So, if she's had a rough day and needs some time alone, don't be clingy like a piece of lint on a sweater. Give her the space she needs to decompress and she'll appreciate you more than a fresh batch of warm cookies. In the end, respect is the glue that holds relationships together. So whether you're saying please and thank you or giving her the space she needs, remember that respect isn't just a nicety, it's a necessity. So keep it real, keep it respectful and watch your relationship flourish like a well-watered houseplant. Number four, lead with integrity, not with a wobbly compass. All right, gentlemen, buckle up because we're about to talk about integrity. And no, it's not just a fancy word you throw around to impress your grandma. It's about being true to yourself even when it's tempting to take the easy way out or bend the rules like a contortionist at a circus. So let's dive into why integrity is worth more than a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. First things first, integrity isn't just about following the rules when someone's watching, it's about doing the right thing, even when nobody's looking over your shoulder like a nosy neighbour. So, if you're tempted to cut corners or take a shortcut, ask yourself, is this something I'd be proud to tell my grandma about? If the answer is no, then it's time to rethink your game plan, my friend. But hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets real. Integrity isn't just about avoiding the big, flashy temptations like cheating on a test or embezzling money from your company. Although, let's be real, those are pretty big no-nos. It's also about the little things like being honest about your feelings or admitting when you've made a mistake. So, if you accidentally spill coffee on her favourite shirt, don't try to cover it up like a cat burying its business in a litter box. Own up to it, apologise sincerely, and maybe offer to buy her a new one. Trust me, she'll appreciate your honesty more than a lie wrapped in a fancy bow. And here's the kicker. Integrity isn't just about being a goody two-shoes. It's about earning the trust and respect of those around you. So whether you're standing up for what you believe in or admitting when you're wrong, Remember that integrity is like a rare diamond priceless and worth more than all the gold in Fort Knox. So keep it real, keep it honest and watch as your integrity shines brighter than a supernova in the night sky. Number five, be her cheerleader, not just a couch potato. All right, gentlemen, let's talk about being her cheerleader because let's face it, nobody wants to be with a soggy sandwich when they could have a spicy taco cheering them on. So Grab your pom-poms and get ready to learn why being her biggest fan is the secret source to winning her heart. First off, being her cheerleader isn't just about showing up to her games or recitals with a foam finger and a cheesy grin, although that's definitely a good start. It's about being there for her in the good times and the bad, offering support, encouragement and maybe even a shoulder to cry on when life throws her a curveball. But hold on to your megaphones, because here's where it gets real. Being her cheerleader isn't just about clapping politely from the sidelines, it's about actively championing her dreams and goals, even when they seem as far-fetched as winning the lottery. So if she wants to quit her job and become a professional llama trainer, don't roll your eyes and tell her to get real. Instead, give her a high five and ask how you can help her make it happen. Who knows, you might just end up with a pet llama named Larry in your backyard. And here's the kicker. Being her cheerleader isn't just about boosting her confidence or making her feel like she's on top of the world, although that's a pretty sweet bonus. It's also about strengthening your bond as a couple, building trust and showing her that you're in her corner no matter what. So whether she's aiming for the stars or just trying to get through a tough day at work, be her cheerleader, her hype squad, her number one fan and watch as your relationship reaches new heights faster than a squirrel on a caffeine high. In conclusion, dear seekers of adoration and admiration, we've embarked on a thrilling odyssey through the labyrinth of love, uncovering the sacred treasures that lead to being placed upon the pedestal of your beloved's heart. 
from igniting the flames of passion through unwavering integrity to orchestrating symphonies of support and encouragement, we've witnessed the transformative power of embodying the qualities that make you not just a partner, but a paragon of excellence in her eyes. So as we are about to take a bow on this enlightening voyage, let us carry forth the torch of understanding, respect and unwavering support, knowing that the path to being revered lies not in grand gestures or empty promises, but in the everyday moments of connection, empathy and authenticity. May you go forth armed with the knowledge and wisdom gleaned from our expedition, and may you ascend to the summit of her admiration with grace, humility and an unwavering commitment to being the best damn partner you can be. For in the end it is not the accolades or applause that define our worth, but the love and admiration we inspire in the hearts of those we hold dear. Farewell, gentlemen, and may your journey to being placed upon the pedestal be nothing short of superb. Until next time, gentlemen, stay soulfully synergized.